Our clients love when we share little hacks in Asana, and today's tip is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you a handy little trick where you can take a project with lots and lots of tasks and create additional views or layouts that you prefer to work from. Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of our Asana training videos. Now, when you set up a project in Asana, you can choose from multiple different layout options. You can set up a project as a list, a board, or a timeline. And what you'll find is that different people on your team often prefer to look at a project in their preferred view. I like really looking at tasks in the list view. Other people really like the board layout. And you'll also find that uh, people have different requirements. Maybe designers only want to see design-related tasks. Now, a few years ago, if you wanted to create different views or layouts in Asana, this would require a lot more work. You essentially had to multi-home tasks into multiple projects, and this would add a lot of clutter to your sidebar. Now, we can create new views and additional layouts in the same project using the new tabs feature. Now, at the time of recording, this is still a fairly new feature, but a lot of the clients and people we're talking to aren't aware that it exists. So let me show you what this actually looks like in practice and how you can use this feature. If you have any questions at the end of this video, leave me a comment down below. And if you'd like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up Asana or rolling it out to your team, then click the link in the description below to learn more about our Asana consulting options. To create a new tab in Asana, just go to the project where you want to set it up and you can click this plus button here to add a new tab. And there's lots of different options. We've got different layout options. For instance, you can look at your project as a list, a Gantt chart, calendar, board, or timeline. Now, right out the gate, one of my favorite things to do with a new tab is to create a note tab. This is really useful for storing useful project information, links, images, or just brainstorming ideas and storing information related to the project. So as an example, if I go to our uh, actual Asana account, this is our content project where we plan videos and things that we are working on. And you can see I have this note where we have details of the 2025 paid promotions that we're doing with Zapier and Pipedrive and other partners. And so we've got some of the details, links to Google Sheets, and even tasks where we've linked related videos. Again, this is a fairly new feature. I think we've only been able to add notes uh, to projects like this um, fairly recently. And this is really nice because it means that rather than having to put these kind of details in a Google Doc, a Word Doc, or um, even use a tool like Notion or Apple Notes for storing information, which we then link into Asana, now we can actually put a lot more information natively in Asana and we just find this means we're switching between apps a lot less and we just have everything we need in one place. Now, the other way we can use tabs is to create different layouts or views. So as I mentioned, we've got lists, um, Gantt charts, the calendar view, board, or timeline. So for me personally, I really like to view my tasks as a list. I find in this view, I can see a lot of information on the screen at once. I can see the task names, the assignees, due dates, custom field information, uh, that, that's what I prefer to, to use. Some people prefer the board layout. They find it more visual. They like being able to drag and drop and move things around. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Are you on team list or team board? I'm on team list. I'm going lists all the way. Uh, and of course, we've got the timeline view. I find this works really well for managers um, and the leadership team. They often like to see things in sort of a chronological layout or we've got the calendar view. And actually I'll go back to our content pro project here. This one we, we quite like looking at in a calendar view because we can see when we're publishing. Now the final really useful thing we can do with these tabs is we can apply different filtering or grouping to the different views. So here's my normal list view with every single task in the project in here. Now what I could do is I could add a new, or actually what I'll do instead is I can either add a new list view and work from that and filter that, but actually what I'm gonna do is change the filters in here. So maybe I only want to see tasks for the design team. So I've got this department custom field in here. I wanna create a tab for my design team to, to work from. So I'm gonna use the filters, add a filter. I'm gonna add my department custom field and I'm gonna go, go contains, design. Okay, 
So now it's uh, it's filtered out anything that doesn't have any task that doesn't have that design custom field option chosen. I could apply other filters to this. I could also change the grouping instead of using sections. Maybe I group by assignee. I can see Elon, Jarvis, and uh, let's just assign that to myself. So I can see the tasks assigned to different people on the team. Now, once I'm happy with that view, I can save as a new tab. And we could call this design tasks. So now let's put that over here. I've got my, whoops, drag it over again. I've got my normal unfiltered list view there. And right next to it, I've got a new list view with the filters and grouping that I've applied. So if I'm a designer working in this project, I don't have to be distracted by everything else that's going on. I can just use this design tasks tab. I can even right click and save that as my default. So whenever I navigate to this project, that is the default tab that I will land on. Um, just to give you one other example of uh, one useful way to do this, uh, to use this feature, is I have this tasks assigned to me tab. Now, the really cool thing you can do here is you can put a dynamic filter in place. So in this case, I've said, if the assignee is me dynamic, what that means is for me, Paul, when I look at the tasks on this tab, tasks assigned to me, it's only showing my tasks. If John on my team to look at this same tab, he would see tasks assigned to him. So it really does mean tasks assigned to me, depending on whichever user is looking at that list, at looking at that view. We've been showing our clients this feature recently, and we've been getting some really good feedback. I think this is a great example of just how little things like this in Asana make a big difference. If you can have different views for your boss or for yourself or for the design team so that they can focus on the tasks that are important to them without getting distracted by everything else, it really does help with team adoption and everyone just getting on with their work that much easier. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Don't forget to tell me, are you team list or team board list all the way? Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In camo, and I'm just gonna hide the camo recording window so that the camera doesn't see it. Get my mic ready to go and let's see if we can get a good shot. Our clients love when we share little hacks in Asana and today's tip is one of my favorites.